，政治民声起义 ，My Radio 二零一五。Welcome to the thirteenth episode of Healthy Magazine. Yep,、yeah. HK Healthy. Health,、uh, Hong HK Kong, Healthy. HK Hong Kong Healthy Living Magazine. Yep, yes, that's right.、Yeah. And、um, since we are so healthy,、mm. there must be there must be a lot of tips that you can give to our audience. Yeah, and, and tips and easy ways to be healthy. You know, yeah, easy ways to be healthy. And、um, yeah, I think Eddie,、uh, one easy way to to be healthy is to to take out the poison. Non-toxic. Yeah, non-toxic. Have a non-toxic lifestyle. You know, to take、yeah. out the poison from your lifestyle、yeah. is、um, an easy and and and, and cheap、uh, cheap way. Save your money, save life. You know, yeah, save sure, your life,、sure. save your money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and、um, you can show uh, uh, the technician can show them the plate here.、Yeah. Okay. And you can do that. Yeah, sure. Same the same thing. Yeah, yeah. The next one. This one. Okay. <laughs> The non, the natural, non-toxic lifestyle. Remember, about a year or a year and a half ago, we we did a we did we did a series, didn't we? Show yeah. Show fifteen, show fifteen series. Yeah. Remember, yeah. Yeah. And we went into great details, you know.、Mm. But now we'd like to focus on、uh, on little parts of it now, you know.、Mm. Body care. Body care, yeah. Shampoos and cosmetics.、Mm. Um, you can see a lot of them on the shelves of、um, supermarkets. And all of them contain nasty stuff, you know.、I'm, I, I've、yeah. been doing some deep research, Eddie, and、yeah. I've been going to the supermarket、yeah. and and noting down some of the chemical names on 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 the on the packets packets and bottles,、yeah. and then going and then googling them. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realise how bad it was. So what do you find?、Really、what do you find?、Uh, okay, you find here. Petrochemicals found in most shampoos and cosmetics can be absorbed through the scale. Scalp、mm-hmm. and skin, and over time accumulate in organs and tissues. This accumulation may result in mountain brain, nerve, and liver damage, according to a recent government study.、Mm-hmm. Okay,、um, I'm not sure. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can read this name. Diethanolamine. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And、uh, DEA. I, I better use the short term.、Mm. And、uh, DEA is、um, found in over 600 home and personal care products.、Mm-hmm. The shampoo and soap you use probably includes it. Yep. Belong to a class of chemical known as alkaline alkaline alkalines. Alkaline means. Yep. Which includes mono ethanol. See, I mean, how can you trust <laughs> things that are called <laughs> mono? Ethanol, amine. Yeah? Amine.、Yeah. Well, I, 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 ethanol, amine. Yeah, I, I now come to a conclusion.、Mm. Whenever you got a, a a name with so many syllables, it must it must contain certain kind of poisons. I think I think that's a good rule a rule of thumb. <laughs> really, that's a good rule of thumb. It really, it really, it really works. You know? Really? Yeah, it really works. When you,、okay, when, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's even so, you know you <laughs> see some labels on some organic natural things,、yeah. and it says derived from a natural thing,、yeah. but they've still turned it in. Into one of these long chemical names, into these、I、chemicals. See, I see, I、yeah. see, yeah, yeah. You know? And DEA has been linked with kidney, liver, and other organ damage, according、mm. to several government-funded research studies, and have been proved to cause cancer in rats when applied to the skin.、Mm. So the very things that are meant to be good for your your, your skin and your, and your hair and everything, I see, actually damaging the skin and the hair as well. Not、oh, yeah. not in your organs, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Mm. And、uh, well, again, it beats me. Propylene glycol. <laughs> Propylene glycol,、yeah. a colorless, viscous, high, hygroscopic, hygroscopic. What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Liquid. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Use an antifreeze solutions、mm. in brake and hydraulic fluids as the iser and as a solvent. Yeah, you know. This is. It's even found in some pet foods, processed foods, and cosmetics, toothpaste, shampoos, and deodorants and lotions. It is implicated in contact dermatitis. Dermatitis, yeah. Dermatitis. Skin disease, yeah. Yeah.、Mm. Kidney damage and liver abnormal、mm. abnormalities.、Mm. Well, yeah, so horrible. Yeah. yeah, so horrible.、Yeah. It can inhibit skin growth,、uh, cell growth in human tests. Can cause gastrointestinal. Disturbances, nausea, 
headache and vomiting. And cer cer um, central nervous system depression and can damage cell membranes, causing rashes, dry skin, and surface damage, mm. according to material safety data sheet. Well, sodium lauryl sulfate. Yeah, which is found in many, many products. You know, I, I guess it, you, you can find it in the toothpaste. Yeah, in toothpaste is a big one. Yeah, toothpaste yeah, yeah, is yeah, a big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's it's a mutagen. Mutagen. Mutagen, which means it will m mutate the cells. I see. Yeah. SL S is a mu mutagen. Mm -hmm. In sufficient amount, it is capable of changing the information in genetic material found in cells. Mm. It has been used in study to induce mutation in bacteria. <laughs> yeah, and you're using it, to, you know, to clean your body and. and well, well, well. Someday we may, may we may become uh, mutants. I think that's the like, idea. Like the like like the the, the, the X Men film. I think that's the idea mutant. actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> SLS actually corrodes hair follicles and, and impairs ability to grow hair. It denatures protein, impairs proper structural formation of young eyes, creating permanent damage. SLS can damage the immune system. It can cause separation of skin layers and cause inflammation, inflammation to the skin. If it, is interacts, if it interacts with other nitrogen-bearing ingredients, carcinogenic nitrates can form as a result. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, and no, we're not going to bother. Just to show you that, that, that there's, there's a lot more chemicals. Yeah. We go into all the, these. Mm. They're also poisonous, you know. They're mm, also yeah. very poisonous mm. as well. But just to show you how many, just to give some idea. And there's not even all of them, you know. Mm. We just there's the tip of the iceberg, <coughs> really. Yeah. Even you know, it's unbelievable. I guess that's I, the, the the reason why they they print it in small prints. Yeah. Because so there's so much. <laughs> there's so much poison in, in everything, you know. Yeah. And I, you know. Yeah, and that's that's in the, the body care stuff, but there's also in the in in, in the the household, household cleaning yeah. products. Mm. Household cleaning products. Yeah, yeah, I'm mm. familiar with them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Carcinogens. Yeah. And carcinogens cause cancer and mm. or promote cancer growth. Mm. Endocrine disruptors. Yeah. Endocrine disrupt disruptors. Endocrine disruptors mimic mimic mm. human hormones, causing reproductive, developmental, growth, and behavior problems. <coughs> Endocrine disruptors have been linked to reduced fertility, premature puberty, miscarriage, menstrual problems, challenged, challenged immune systems, abnormal prostate size, ADHD. I guess it's something with to, yeah, to do with attention deficit and and hyperactivity disorder. Yeah. 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 Mm. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma yeah. and certain cancers. It's a blood cancer. Blood yeah, cancer. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Neurotoxins. Neurotoxins alter neurons affecting brain activities, causing a range of problems from headaches to loss of intellect. Mm. Pesticides. One of the mo ca most counterintuitive intu health threats is that the, of products that in disinfect. Mm. Common sense tells us that killing household germs protects our health. However, disinfectants are practiced, and the ingredients of in practices often include carcinogens and endocrine disruptors. Pesticides are fat soluble, making them difficult to eliminate from the body when ingested. Pesticides, including disinfectants, may also include APES. Mm. I, actually, I don't know how to pronounce yeah. it. I kill for, yeah. But I, it, it, common sense to me was if that's killing a germ, which is also kind of an organism, it's mm. going to kill me as well. Mm. Even from the first adverts I saw for, for cleaning clean yeah, products yeah, yeah, back yeah. many, many years ago, yeah. some of the first adverts, I thought it's just cells. Killed 99 percent of all germs. I thought, well, it's going to kill 99 percent of me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my common sense anyway. Yeah, you know, yeah. basically, you know. Okay, um, housing cleaning products, APEs, APEs, XS. So just just you know, they're, they're okay, yeah. um, can be they are uh, they can be found in many self care items, including um, spermicides, yeah. sanitary towels. towels Disposable diapers. Mm. APEs, as APEs are endocrine disrupt mm -hmm. disruptors. Formaldehyde. Again, yeah. yeah, it's commonly known as a preservative. Many people do not know that it is also a germicide, bactericide, and fungicide, among other functions. Formaldehyde is found in household cleaners and disinfectants. It is also present in nail polish and other personal care products. Formaldehyde is a carcinogen. Mm. Well, <laughs> Organochlorines. They are also carcinogens and endocrine disruptors. Mm -hmm, yeah, so where where do you where do you find them? 
in pesticides, yep. detergents, and degreasers and bleaches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which means that you would dye your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and bleaches, with also the bleaches is, is uh, one of the cleaning fluids, isn't it? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, use, yeah, you know. yeah. And present in dry cleaning fluids. Yeah. Styrene. Mm -hmm. It's a naturally occurring substance derived from the Styrex tree. Mm. Styrene is mo com most commonly used in the man manufacture of numerous plastics, including plastic food wrap. wrap. Oh, mm. you see so many of them these days. You do, yeah. Insular cups, carpet backing, and PVC piping. Styrene is also found in four waxes and polish and metal cleaners. Styrene is known as a carcinogen as well as endocrine mm. disruptor. Exposure may affect the central nervous system, liver, and reproductive system. Mm. Well, phthalates. Phthalates. Mm. They are air freshers and perfumes, mm. but um, they can penetrate into our skin. Mm. And and yeah, they're found in moisturizer. You know, so you put it into your skin, you're actually <laughs> absorbing. Um, yeah. You know. And uh, chemicals are chemicals are classified as inert, inert, and as such, no product labeling requirements exists for follow. Yeah. So follow they, they might be in the product you don't even know. They're not even yeah. listed. You know. Mm, yeah. Once again, the name. Phthalates. 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 Yeah. Phthalates. Phthalates. Yeah. Phthalates. <laughs> <laughs> Phthalates and endocrine ed disruptors are and suspected carcinogens. And phthalates. Phthalates yeah. are known to cause horm hormonal abnormalities, mm. viral disorders, birth defects, and reproductive it's problems. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is terrible, you know. Yeah, terrible. And Volatile organic compounds, VOC. VOCs are present in perf perfumes, air fresheners, disinfectants, and deodorizers. Mm. They commonly include Propane, propane, yeah. propane, butane, mm -hmm. ethanol, mm. phthalates, and formaldehyde. Yeah. They also pose a variety of human health hazards and collective are thought to be reproductive toxins, neurotoxins, and liver toxins and carcinogens. Mm. It's everywhere. Yeah, 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 everywhere. And the symptoms. Um, it includes um, such symptoms such as um, headache, headache, stiff joints. Nausea, diarrhea, asthma, and allergy attacks, dizziness, memory loss, stuttering, premature puberty, low sperm count, reduced motor skills, sudden mood swings, dyslexia, ADHD, antisocial behavior, autism, and birth defects, among mm. others. It's terrible. Okay. Um, na naphthalene. Naphthalene. Yeah, naphthalene. What's that? The this is this mothballs, you know, when you. When you in the winter time here in Hong Kong, when you catch the MTR or something, and somebody's a lot of us. You can it's smell, smell you can yeah. smell, you yeah. can smell yeah. that smell yeah. that people keep their clothes in. Yeah. But don't go on to the next thing. Go on to the next thing. Yeah. Don't you know? Nephilim. It's got a hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia. Yeah, what is that? that? That's, that's uh, in the blood. You know. Okay. Damage, damage. to a liver mm -hmm. and in infants. Neurological damage. Yeah. Or cataracts. Cataracts is where there you get a growth going over the eye. Yeah. Now I, I always remember as a child, my, my, my grandmother used a lot of this stuff. Mm. And what did she get? She got very severe cataracts. Oh, I see. I see. You know? I see. Yeah. Prevention. So uh, I just think Ed, so. The thing is, Eddie, that all these all these um, th things that we wash our bodies and hair with, and and we clean our, uh, our, 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 our houses with, you know, and wash our plates with and everything like that. You know, this is a major, look there, it's a major source of cancer, isn't it? And all the other yeah, immune yeah, deficiency, yeah. major source of ill health, you know? Yeah. And people get cancer and they wonder where it comes from. Mm. I and think this must be a major source. Well, anyway, it is in your, in your home. It must be a major source, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, but everybody's programmed. When I go to the island in the supermarket, I can mm. smell. Mm. I can smell it's poison, but it seems a lot of people can't, you know? Mm. So, um, if you want to avoid cancer or reduce the, reduce the risk, then you can have a natural household. Yeah, a natural clean, yeah, you know. Okay. And we, we did this before, and in the meantime, I, I've searched out a source. Mm. Um, you know, if, you know, I don't want to just wind people up and say, you can use this, but where can you, and people ask me, what, people have been asking me, where can I get it, you know? Yeah. So, I, I, with, with a bit of help from my friends, and I, I, I managed to find a source mm. of um, organic soap berries, and you can see, you can read that, you know. Okay. Yeah. Soap berries or soap nuts are um, hypoallergenic. Uh, hypo Allergenic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no skin or respiratory irritation and non-toxic mm. can replace multiple cleaners and last longer. 
They were used for thousands of years before this century by Chinese, Indian, and other peoples. Mm. So where where do you get these berries? I, I, where where do you get them? Well, they come from trees, you know. I, I see, of course. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're berries. They're actually just a fruit, you know. Yeah. They're a fruit, and 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 actually the, um, the 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 Latin name is sapindus. Sapindus. And. Um, Soap is actually named after soap berries. Ah, so this is the original. I, I right? didn't know about that. Yeah. So when, when, when you buy the other, all the chemical ones, you're buying the imitation. Mm. This is the original. Yeah. This is the real thing. Yeah. This is the original. It's what people use over thousands of years. Yeah. You know. So berries or soap nuts can be used for washing clothes, washing dishes on cabinets and cupboards, walls and doors, floors. Stainless steel and other metal, wood tables, shoes, granite and marble, plastic around pets and kits, sinks, toilets, showers and tubs. Soap berries or soap nuts can be used as a glass cleaner with a little vinegar. You shampoo body and face, wash insect and mosquito repellent to wash your pets and all their Power paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> Jury, cars, etc. Yeah. So, Vazda. So, but yeah, I don't remember if it's up there. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it's also in Ayurvedic, that's Indian traditional medicine, it's used to cure, cure skin diseases. It's actually mm. used as a cure, you know. Mm. And um, I, I've been using it for all, every, all those things you see there. I yeah. use it for all that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. And. Um, and to prove, uh, I thought, just to prove how unpoisonous it, it, What's this? unpoisonous it is, this is actually a little, uh, a little, what, a little bit of soap berry, made yeah. up soap berry. Yeah. Maybe I'll show the audience. Okay. Um, here is the, the soap berry that I have sourced. Anyway. I see. This is in here in the bag in the soap uh, berry. Show it. Yeah, you show do it. it. Do actually, you can. I guess you can eat it. <laughs> well, I'm going to just show that in a minute, uh, Eddie. I'm going to, yeah. you know, so, so, you know, here's, here's the, here's the, uh, the berries, you know. Yeah. It's about mm. it, see? Mm. Does it smell poisonous? No, it doesn't. No, it smells good. So it smells mm. good. Good enough to eat? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, you know, it shouldn't be poisonous, you know. Mm. And that's what the Red Indians would say, really. Yeah. And so what I'm going to do here now, this is maybe a first on, on, <laughs> on camera kind of yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. is to drink some soap berry. This is, this is, this is made up. You make the uh, I, are you sure you're going to do that? Do make it? the cleaning liquid. Why yeah, not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this proves that it's not poisonous, okay. right? Bottoms up, as we say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, it's a little bit... Yeah. Do you know what this tastes like to me? It what tastes it? like beer. Yeah. <laughs> it actually tastes like beer. Really? Bitter. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> it, 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 bitter beer, like from pub, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's not bad, actually. Yeah. Well. Hmm. And it's the real thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay, see? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. But, um... One thing, Eddie, people, people say to me, well, you know, it, you've got to change the mindset. It's not ready-made because even, even the um, so-called natural mm. and organic uh, cleaners, your shampoos you might get or other cleaners, household cleaners you get and it's a natural, organic type of thing. They're not, you know. Uh, they contain something called uh, sodium benzoate, mm. for one thing. It's a preservative that, that actually shuts, shuts down the oxygen to all your cells. Mm. And that's, that's how it preserves things, you know. So one thing you have to do is to, it's, f it's fresh like this, then you have to boil it. So, so I made a little video to show how to make up the, the cleaning, let me click out of this. It's a quarter or a third of a bag of soap berries. Simply put them into the saucepan. Fill about half to a half full because, as you can see, you can see the soapy effect already. Right? You can see the soap already, and that's just with the cold water. Once you once you boiled it up and made the, uh, the thing as marvelous. Okay, and then we boil it for 15 to 20 minutes or simmer. Bring it to the boil and simmer for the low boil for 15 to 20 minutes. Simple. Having simmered the soap berries in, in water <clears throat> for 15 to 20 minutes, 
we now have a sort of soap berry soup which can be used for after we put it into the bottles for for cleaning everything for your dishes your windows your floors your kitchen services your bathroom services and it really is effective okay when the soap berries are cool just pour them in to glass jars Wonderful cleaning fluid. This one is organic and non toxic. Very, very effective. This is coming from maybe a, a quarter to a third of the bag. There are almost three. Okay. And this can be used for cleaning many, many different things, as we will see in a minute. Very easy, actually, very easy, and that's it. And once you've done that, and you can, you can leave, leave that last for weeks. It won't go off, you know. Mm. For weeks, it won't go off, you know. Even I've kept it. Them, I guess it. Um, you you have um, it will leave a, a good smell yeah. on your on your clothing. On your yeah, clothes, on your clothes. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing. If, if if you if you wash your clothes in the nowadays conventional uh, washing powders. Yeah. You absorb the residue is in the clothes, and you're absorbing it all day long. You're absorbing all these cancerous mm. chemicals all day long in, mm. into your body. You know, mm. people are wondering where cancer comes from. So mm. it's not that's what you have to do. Mm. Uh, and you save the bother of going to the supermarket and buying buying one thing to to, to clean your clothes, another thing to clean your dishes, another clean thing to clean your sink, another thing to, you know, all those different things you have to buy at the supermarket. Yeah. What a what a palaver and the expense. Yeah, you know. Well, yeah, yeah, we have to swap that, swap that for just boiling something in water yeah. for 15 minutes and then you're but done. But you have to um, get these um, salt berries. First. Yes, you will. Yeah. So that's what, I, what, that's what, in the meantime, since the last time we did this, uh, yeah. Eddie, yeah. I've been, um, I, I found a source. So maybe we can link it to the site, you know, and, sure, uh, sure. and made a website so people can actually go yeah. and, and, and try to get the most reasonable price possible possible yeah and um, and these are organic as well you know these okay. are organic yeah. organic can, can, can the camera see that sure sure yeah. sure you, you place it in front of the mm -hmm. camera mm -hmm. and then let people have a look of it mm -hmm. yeah and then uh, we can put it here yeah okay okay good yeah sure sure, sure. yeah yeah doesn't matter because it, we, you can still it's see us. Us. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's that's uh, that, that's what. So we can, we can, you could make a link, and people can actually go to the the website and yeah. uh, and and buy it. You know. You see, it look, it look, it looks so good that I really want to yeah. taste it. Well, I just had some, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, you has, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive, and I say it tasted like a pint of bitter, a pint of beer in the pub in England, <laughs> something yeah, like yeah. that. You know. And so uh, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that with the stuff you buy from the chemical stuff, could you? Really, you know. Yeah. You couldn't do that. No. Yeah. And the other thing, I don't know, uh, I've got some demonstrations of how to use it, but I don't know if, if yeah. people really need that or not. Yeah. So what, what else have you got? Well, that, that's it really, but I think, but what, uh, it's so, the thing is, it's so simple. Yeah. All you need to do is make up this soap berry, yeah. and you can clean everything. Yeah. You, know, you wash your hair with it, you wash your body with it. Okay. Uh, you, 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 you wash your dishes, you wash, wash your floor, everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In one, and it's, it's it's a hard concept to get around when we've been sold by these advertising companies that we need this for this and this that for that and, and the other for the other. Yeah, you know we need. Well, something. to me, it is some kind of brainwashing. It definitely is. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. So you've got to unwash your brain so that you can wash yourself <laughs> <laughs> well and, and cleanly without poisoning yourself somehow. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So, um, shall we go on with the, this one? Um, 
Well, you you can you can um, not really. I mean, we can, we can we you can do this kind of thing. Yeah. But I think um, the sober area is more effective and, yeah. and more convenient. Yeah. 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 I mean, not many people are going to put vinegar, and um, vinegar is a bit astringent anyway, really. And you can't use it for your clothes, so mm. you can use it through the washing machine as well. And um, for the washing machine, all you all you do here is just put. Put a few berries mm. uh, in this little bag in your bag. that comes with it. You know, yeah. you just put a few berries in here. Yeah, oops, daisy. Depends how big the wash is. Five or ten berries, you know. Yeah, and um, there we go. And just tie it up and just pop it into the machine. Really? It's, it's not difficult, is it? Really? really? And you can use this a few times. Yeah. I see. And you just pop that into your washing machine. Yeah. Okay. And it's done. Yeah. Is it no problem, huh? Oh, uh, in that case, uh, you you can even save the process of boiling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the for the clothes, yeah. I see. For the clothes, see, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, boil yeah. it and make a and make make the liquid up for, for every other use. Yeah, yeah. But for yeah. your clothes, you know, yeah. which you can't do with something like this um, vinegar and orange thing, you know. Yeah, I see. I see. You know. Well, well, thank, thank, thank Gary for um, giving us so many tips on um, um, protecting our health. Well, actually, and, and now we've actually, you know, in the mean meantime, we've f found the means to do it, you know, yeah, so yeah. if we make the link any, then people can go to the link and go to the website and buy it and yeah. and start saving your life today, yeah? Sure, sure, yeah. start saving your life today. And sa you save some money as well, actually, you know, yeah. <laughs> And save yeah. your money too, yeah. okay. So shall we yeah. um, take a break? Yeah, we should, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye. All right.